What's going on guys welcome back to another video and in today's video we are going to be taking a look at Android 8.1 Oreo for our Galaxy S7 Edge yep. and if you want the installation video of it I have actually done it last week so if you want that you can just tap the i button over here. In this video I am mainly going to talk about how is the stability as if right now for our device as many of you guys want to test it. It's not that laggy as the GPU support has been completely fixed but there are some stutters over here and there but the main UI and the hardware acceleration is actually working so that's pretty good. Also you can notice the icons have been completely changed and as this is a lineage OS 15.1 still there are not many of the mods available it's just stock as it's not been officially available. Coming to the quick settings panel if you scroll down as you can see it turns red so it actually adapts the color which is available in majority in the background of the wallpaper. Also the quick settings panel is not transparent now it's semi transparent and it's actually throughout the system it just stays transparent I don't get the whole point of it. Again if you want to turn it dark you have to just apply any kind of black wallpaper and the whole launcher will actually change let me just showcase that let's just apply something dark like this set as wallpaper going back home now the ui is black yep it's adaptive also the transparency is a bit more pronounced over here as you can see you can see the date behind quick settings panel and also the launcher turns black so as you can see the gradient is now darker even if you scroll up the ui is now black it's only for the launcher the whole ui is still white if you go to the settings here you go here is your newer settings you can also search directly over here which is nice and also in s7h it works some of the devices it just crashes there is nothing major added over here as you can see some of the icons are now been rounded it's not just for the pixel devices the battery icon now is like gas cylinder going to the display advanced there is new screen saver option over here it's a bit revamped and if you want to disable it you have to go to when to start and then select never going to the live display you have color calibration and stuff as this is a lineage OS 15 and it does work which is good you also have color profile now dynamic works the best adaptive does the display a bit red and yellow at sometimes I don't know what it's thinking so dynamic is the best you can also apply cinema for the best colors now you can go to the storage and everything has been fixed earlier if you go to the free up space it's just used to crash now it works fully which is nice also the fingerprint scanner speed has been marginally improved since the last oreo for example now you can just tap it and it unlocks it's as fast as one plus five which is crazy you can just tap it and it unlocks Going to the system, yeah, there is a whole list over here. You get system, you add tuner, you don't get an option to enable navigation bar just over here. You get your normal settings, then you have gestures, you just get jump to camera, you get status bar, then you have system profiles. Most of the standard lineage OS features have been added over here. Going to the about phone, as you can see lineage OS 15.1. We are kind of lucky over here that we are seeing this on an actual Exynos device. Otherwise, our asset is just dead. Now it looks a bit more polished as it's a Oreo. You still get your laggy octopus. It still lags for 2 to 3 seconds then it becomes free. And then again there are just tons of under the hood changes. For example if you have Android VR device such as me, I have a Moto 360. It will show the actual battery over here in the quick settings panel which is nice. Again the quality of the stock camera, it's pretty good as there is no additional excessive post processing by Samsung. And that's pretty much it for the Android Audio 8.1 for our s 7 Hope you guys enjoyed and if you want me to continue this series, please let me know in the comments section below and see you in the next one. Peace.